Hello everyone. Welcome to this Tech Tip Tuesday video on material picks. Today we will be covering two alternative ways to pick materials to jobs. Both of the ways are found on the job entry function on the material tab. Keep in mind there are only a few ways to get material cost onto jobs and job boss. One of these ways is to pick materials using the pick material function under material control module. Picking materials to jobs also updates the on-hand inventory. Materials created as picks in the material master file function, which can be found under system administration, material. And I'm just gonna type in a material ID number here. And you're gonna see that this material here is listed as a buy for inventory item. Since this material is listed as a buy for inventory item, when placed on a job, it will show up as a pick item. For example, let's go to order processing and job entry and look at a job that has this material placed on it already. When I go to the material tab of job one, two, three, four, five, you will see that this material listed here that I showed in the material master file is showing up as a pick item. Now, knowing that this stud ball in question here is listed as a pick item on this job, we could go to the open pick requirements report under reports and open pick requirements, and we could see what needs to be picked. You could even share this report with your inventory personnel, ask them to go to a location and actually fit, physically pick the inventory um, before doing the transaction in job boss. So now that we've done that, the next thing we would need to do after actually physically picking the inventory would be to go to the pick function in job boss in order to pick this material. So if I go to job boss explorer modules, material control, and the pick material function, I could simply type in my job number one, two, three, four, five, hit my tab key, and I'd be able to see the pick requirements on this job. This would be the, the straightforward way of doing this. I want to show you a couple of alternative ways to do this instead of not using the pick material function. So I'm going to go ahead and close this pick material function under material control. I'm going to take you to the job entry screen for the job in question one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to show you that that stud ball I have highlighted here on this tab. And once again, it is listed as a pick item. I have this icon right here called pick materials. So I can pick directly from the job entry function and not go into material control. When I click on this icon, the window that appears is pretty much the same window that is in the material control pick uh, material function. So I want to pick this material to the job. I have a required quantity of 450. I can see I need to pick a location here to choose or choose a location here in which to pick this material from. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the magnifying glass and see that I have a quantity of 1200 in location A11 and a quantity of uh, 3500 in location A1. So I'm just going to select a location in which to pick this material from and simply type in 450 and click apply. You're going to see that that has closed that requirement and that material is now picked to job one, two, three, four, five. There is another material on the job that needs to be picked as well. This 14 gauge carbon steel It is in location A1 and I have a required quantity of 25 square feet. So once again, just simply type in 25 here for square feet. Uh, click on apply and that's going to close that requirement for that 14 gauge carbon steel sheet stock material on this job. When I close this window, you're going to see that both of those pick requirements on this job now have a closed status and the materials have been picked to this job. So we've established one alternative way to picking materials to the job directly from the job entry function itself and the material tab. There's also a button or an icon next to the shopping cart called check availability right here. I have this 14 NOM listed on the job here as a buy item. So if we go to the material master file function and click on new and type in 14 NOM, it's going to be listed as a buy to job slash sales order item rather than a buy for inventory item as previously shown with the stud ball we are working with. So this 14 NOM lock washer would show up on our job listing as a buy for inventory item, or as, as actually as a buy source item on our job. But 
with this check availability, availability button, I want to show you that sometimes we have to order more material than what's needed on a job and have to transfer it off a job into inventory. So if I have 14 NOM highlighted here and I click on the availability check button, you're going to see that I have the ability here to see it, what the status is of this uh, lock washer in my inventory. I have an on-hand quantity of 1,000 and a required quantity of 450. I already have 305 allocated, so I have enough left over uh, in inventory where I could actually pick this material to the job rather than buying it to the job. All I would need to do is change this buy slash pick option here, uh, or buy uh, option back over to the pick option and click close instead. And that actually made this material a pick item on this job rather than a buy item because I have some in inventory. So now I would simply need to click on the save button, go to my shopping cart icon once again, and that material is now going to show up as a pick item on here in location T5. I can type in my required quantity of 450. Click on the apply button to close that requirement, close this window. And now that 14 NOM has now been picked to the job as well. And I do not have to order material for, via a purchase order to get it on the job. This is a nice built-in extra layer uh, when you do have occasion to order extra material on jobs and have to transfer them into inventory. Um, even though they are buy items, you still can uh, carry inventory of them. And of course, once this uh, has been established that it is picked already, if I click on the uh, check availability button once again here, nothing's going to happen because there's no exception. I've, I've completed the requirements for this material on the job and nothing would happen here. So only if there's an exception will this uh, window pop up for you and able to change it from pick to buy or buy to pick. All right, I've shown you two different ways to pick materials other than using the pick material function under material control. You can use the shopping icon here in the material tab of the job. And also you can check for availability um, using the uh, check availability icon here for materials that are marked as buy items that perhaps you have in inventory. Hopefully this uh, helps you with some ease of use with Job Boss, and you can apply this back at your shop to make things go a little smoother, a little easier, and not have to order items to a job that you already have in stock. Thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed this Tech Tip Tuesday on alternative ways for picking materials in Job Boss. Thank you.